Hi everyone, I'm Ellie and welcome to Code of the Future and today I'm going to be showing you another mini project you can be doing as a beginner to learn Python. We're going to be using Turtle in Python which is where you can draw some pretty cool drawings in Python. So as always I'm going to put my glasses on and move you onto the screen. So again we're just going to open PyCharm up and we're going to open a new fold which as you can see here create two new folders on my desktop one was for mini project one which is what i did in the last video so if you want to know how to do another cool little mini project then check out that video after you've watched this one but for today we're just going to be going into the second mini project so we're just going to open this empty python folder and we're going to create a new python file and we're just going to call it turtle turtle drawings that's what i'll call it nice turtle drawings okay so we're just going to write here let's draw some cool drawings with the package turtle so if you haven't already heard about the package turtle turtle is essentially as, as i've just said a package that is built into python and it means you can do some pretty cool drawings and you can also do some other cool things using turtle so i've actually made a space invaders type game using using turtle there are lots of different things you can do with with the package turtle but today we're just going to stick to the simple stuff how to draw a couple of nice drawings in turtle and just get you used to how turtle works so the first thing that we need to do is we need to say let's import turtle so again if you've watched one of my previous videos you'll know that you must import a package like turtle to be able to use turtle you can't call turtle commands without having imported the turtle package so we're just going to say import turtle okay and that's all you need to do import turtle obviously it hasn't it's gone back to grey because we are not recalling turtle anywhere yet because we haven't started coding so if you know you're getting used to coding and you're wondering why does it you know i'm importing something why is that not coming up in, in nice colors it's because we haven't called it yet so you'll notice it will pop up in, in orange soon when we start coding so obviously we are drawing in turtle so we want a nice setup in turtle so let's say um let's get a nice setup in turtle so the first thing we're going to say is turtle.bg color comes up there okay now that is a setting the background color so you can take this you can make this whatever you want this video is not going to be very specific in terms of the color so if you want to change one color that i've said to a different color go for it so i'm just going to say black because black's always quite a nice backdrop i find it's always quite a nice quite a nice backdrop okay so we're going to say the background color is black so i'm just going to say here background background color just 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 so you just so you know what i'm doing also another thing to say is if you are from the uk or you are not from america and you don't spell color like this you need to remember when you recall color anywhere in python it is without the u so the next thing we're going to do is do the pen size of turtle so we're just going to put turtle dot pen size and this is just giving the width of the pen that's going to be drawing on turtle so we're going to set that equal to two so i'm just going to say again here pen size of, and then the next thing that we want to do is the color again without the u so we're going to let that equal oh let's go red again change that to whatever color you like and what you'll notice is now we've recalled turtle this import here has come up orange and white perfect so this here is just getting a nice setup in turtle you know you can play around with this make the pen size really big i mean i wouldn't recommend going too big because it will just take up the whole screen but that's just kind of getting a nice cell with, with the drawing and background colour and the colour of the pen. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to just say let's draw a square. And this is basically the best way that I can get you to understand how turtle works is just by drawing a very simple square. So we're just going to start by drawing a square and then I'm going to show you a cool little pa pattern you can make and then leave it up to you to just experiment. So we're going to start by drawing a square. So the first thing we're going to say is turtle forward and we're going to say let's go forward 50. So this is basically just saying turtle go forward this this amount okay so we've gone forward so the way we would draw a square is if we got turtle to rotate 90 degrees so what we do is we say turtle left 90 okay so that's drawing it's going forward and then it's turning left by 90 degrees and then again we will say turtle forward go forward 50 and again turtle turn left so we can just copy turtle left here so this will have drawn gone like that it'll have turned and it'll have gone again so we need to double this to make a square okay so it's very it's very repetitive you cut you could do this in a, a for loop or an i loop but i'm just doing this so you kind of get the basics of how of how turtle works and just getting your head around it so this is going to draw a square and one thing to say in turtle is that sometimes if you ask it to do something that it can do really quickly it will then do it and then just 
go away and you can't see it. So one thing that you want to say is just, you want to add at the end just saying turtle done. Okay. Now that just um, allows turtle to stay on the screen. Okay. And I'm just going to put here, um, moves forward. Obviously it's very intuitive because you can see it already, it says turtle forward. Um, oh, I forgot to put two there. And then here, moves left. 90 degrees. Okay, so we're going to run this Python file and see what happens. So we want to run this Python file, so I'm going to go to the top and just check I'm running this specific turtle drawing. Yep, here, turtle drawings. Okay, it runs it. Nothing pops up, but that is because if you're on a Mac, it will move onto your desktop. So here you'll see it is moving onto your desktop. It doesn't pop up on here because I've got the window maximised. So what I'll show you is if I was to just minimise this and make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to move turtle graphics there and I'm just going to just make that stop and I'm going to run it again there you go you can see it drawn a little nice little square another way of overcoming this is I just maximize this and we're just going to stop the, the python file from running so again you won't see it on here and then if you click run and then swipe across there you go it's drawn a nice little square and what you'll notice is turtle always begins in the center so if you wanted to draw a square that was around the center you just have to factor in whereabouts it will go there is a command in turtle where it's called turtle pen up which lifts the pen so you can move to a certain area without drawing but i will put all the extra turtle commands that you can do in a link in the description box just so you can play around with how turtle works turtle is also one of the first things i learned and it's just crazy to be able to get it to do some cool little drawings um, by some very simple code okay so that's how you draw a square very nice again you can go a bit crazy and we could let's let's yeah, this isn't going to draw a square anymore, but let's say do that 170 and move move forward here by 90. Okay, let's click run. It's just drawn something crazy. So so again, you can just play around with this and, and have, have a bit of fun. So you could draw a, a pentagon, a hexagon. You know, you can go a little bit more crazy than, than just things like that. You can draw hearts. And what's great, again, about Python is there are so many resources on the internet. So if you want to know how, you know, if you want to draw something very specific in Python, you can just go on the internet and someone will have posted some code somewhere that you can use and adapt and just play around with. So this is the, you know, very basic principle of, of how to draw a square and how and how turtle works. I just realised I haven't been wearing my glasses. I need them, otherwise I'm going to get a migraine. <laughs> so there we go. I've drawn a square so the, what we're going to move on to now is just do a nice little cool pattern so just to show you that you can draw more than just a square in in turtle okay so we're just going to say this this is a nice little project in turtle we'll just put great a nice graph okay now one thing i will say is if you were to run this python file so say you put some code down here and, and want it to, to run you just need to remember to hashtag you know this, this out because turtle done there will stop whatever turtle is doing. So you just need to make sure that that is hashtagged out as well. So, you know, that is exactly how you draw a square, but we're just going to move on to another little project. So I'm just going to hashtag all that out. And if you are on a Mac, the way that you hashtag is by pressing command and the forward slash, and then it commands, it, it hashtags everything in that highlight mid bit. Okay, so what we're going to draw is we're going to draw a cool little circular pattern. And it's going to draw so many circles and they're all going to be different colors and it's going to make a nice little pattern so we're going to say for colors in and this is where we're going to assign the colors that we want so i quite like rainbows so we're just going to draw um rainbow colors you can play around with this you know if you wanted to you could do black and red and black and red but i quite like the rainbow so we're going to stick with the rainbow so we're going to say red orange let me just add a space did i add a space i didn't space there okay red orange yellow green this is, this is a very basic <laughs> rainbow and purple okay we could add pink on the end but we're just gonna we're just gonna stick with that we're gonna say let the turtle color which you, oh i did it again there i always end up writing like this and i forget because it's obviously american um, so turtle colours, we're going to let that equal to colours. So as we did at the top of here when we said turtle colour is red, what this is doing now is it's saying for colours in this list of colours, it's going to let the turtle colour equal each of these. So again, if you remember what for loops do, they loop round. So this will loop round each of these six colours. The next thing, so we want to draw a circle. So I'm going to introduce you to the 
circle command. So what's great in Turtle is you don't have to mess around trying to draw your own circle. It will literally draw a circle for you. So if you put the turtle.circle and let's say we want the turtle to be 150, you know, size 150. So right now all this would be doing is it's saying for each of the colours in this, let's draw a circle, you know, 150 this this big okay so that's great we've got six different colors six different circles but i'm just going to show you what would happen if i click run and i'm just going to say turtle dot done here because obviously want it to stay on screen okay so i'm just going to stop that and i'm going to click run and then we're going to move over to here nice it's doing this circle but then watch what happens it goes over the exact same circle orange which you know this, this is pretty cool it's nice being able to see that we can draw a circle and it's changing color each time we go around it's pretty nice it reminds me a bit of the uh, apple sign logo when things start working and it doesn't load and again it will go to purple and then it will stay at purple and stop now okay so that's great but what we want to do is we want to draw a cool little diagram where each of the circles will tilt each time and we'll get a nice little pattern okay so we're going to cross off this and we're going to say in here we're going to just put turtle we're going to say turtle dot. So if you remember from before when we moved the Python pen to do a square, you had to move it left. So we're going to call it left. And for niceness of this of this plot, so we have six different colours and it would be quite nice to get them so that they're all symmetrical and it makes a nice kind of symmetrical pattern. So we're going to say turtle left. Now, if you know your maths, 360 divided by 6 is 60. So we're just going to put 60 in here and then I'm going to show you what this does. So we're going to click run and I'm going to move on to my desktop, which is where this is. So it draws the red circle. Ah, nice. It moves 60 degrees. And again, it moves 60 degrees. And again, it moves 60 degrees. And again, it moves 60 degrees. And obviously, you know, this is taking a bit of time, but there are things in Python where you can make it you know do it within a split second so nice we've, we've produced a pretty nice drawing here you can make it even more complex which is what i'm going to show you now um but what you'll notice is it takes a bit of time for, for python to to draw these circles so i'm just going to show you how you speed up that process so what we're going to do is up here where we start assigning the different colors we're just going to say turtle dot speed and we're going to make that equal to zero and what that does is it does it split second like that so watch what happens now if i click run and i go over to the side oh done so we can change this to 10 click run and there you go you know it's going all, a lot faster than it was before so we've got this nice little diagram here now i want to do this but i want to move it by 10 degrees each time and i want the colors to go over and over again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce you to another loop within this loop which is very nice so we're going to say let's make it let's say let's make it cooler if you think this is cool that is so what we're going to say is we're going to say, so instead of these circles moving 60 degrees, I want them to move 10 degrees each time and then loop round again. So if I was to change it up here and say make that equal to 10, what you'll notice is it'll only do the first few there, which looks pretty cool. You know, it looks a bit like a slinky, but I want this to repeat again and again and again until it gets to the top. I'm going to say for I in range. Now, how many times do I need this, that pattern to loop round? So we have 60 degrees normally, which was there, but I want it 10 degrees. So therefore I need it to do it six times round. So I'm going to say for range in six, for I in range six, and then I'm just going to copy all this, going to enter that, and we're going to input it all here, and then we'll just say turtle done. And we're just going to get rid of turtle done here, and we're just going to hashtag this out. So we're just going to hashtag all that out, and I've just noticed that needs to be a 10 obviously we want them to move 10 each time so let's run this and see how what happens whoa look at that pretty cool look at that it's pretty cool so again you, you know you could make it even more if you really wanted to it and make this equal to 12 and we can say we want them five degrees each time so let's just stop that running and do it again and again it's pretty cool isn't it like it's just i don't know i think it i think it looks pretty cool so that's, how, so that's how you make some pretty cool graphics or, or pictures in Python using Turtle. I did tell you it would get a little bit more exciting than just drawing a square. So, you know, you can play around with things like this, draw some cool little patterns. There are so many different patterns you can do with, with Turtle. There are so many online as well. So, you know, go online and if you want to draw a specific shape or, you know, you find a, a resource online that shows you some pretty cool drawing a, a little bit like this, then, you know, have a look at the code, see if you can manipulate it. But this was just a basic introduction to how 
turtle works in python and how to draw some pretty amazing graphics and, and drawings as well if you like the video then please like subscribe and comment and i will see you all in the next video